Um, I wanted to ask you, because you've had some experience with what uh, people call like, the deep state. Uh, others might call it like New World Order or Illuminati. Uh, do, you, do you have any thoughts on that? Is, is that stuff real? I don't know what, it, what that actually means. Deep state Illuminati, I can tell you what the truth is. Presidents, presidents have no power and have had no power since 1960. Um, let me tell you, the, the CIA runs America. Um, why? Well, first of all, they're all career patriots, and they are patriots people. They are. Good God, they love America. Um, they, you know what they, they call presidents? Transients. Got a new transient coming in. Whoa. Um, well, and, and they control the transient. How? Because presidents and, and Congress as well, they're all transients. All politicians are transients. Um, uh, the presidents and, and Congress uh, are there for four, eight years, certainly presidents, eight years max. <clears throat> they're career politicians, many of them. Or they, how many of them speak uh, Farsi or Saudi or, uh, or Saudi or Arabic? Uh, how many of them understand the nuances of political uh, alliances, cultural histories, um, social and religious attitudes? No, they don't know jack shit. Whereas in the CIA, which is a lifetime job, you never quit the CIA. You join at 22, you're there until you die. Um, the, in the CIA, there are CIA agents who speak 35 fucking languages fluently. Right. Now, what do you think they what do you think they think of it? And they all understand everything about the nuances of the world. What attitude do you think they have to a president, an idiot, an ignoramus, which they all are, compared to the CIA, comes into the office and expects to run this country? Huh? They ain't letting that happen, and they have not let that happen. How do they control presidents? Let's take the glaring example that we all know, Second Gulf War. CIA wanted Saddam out of power. They tried to assassinate him, didn't work. So they said, okay, somebody tell the president to bomb him. Now, they didn't just say go bomb him. No, you know what they said? Uh, Mr. President, uh, please have a seat. Um, we have some terrible news. We have just uh, discovered with absolute certainty that uh, Iraq has nuclear weapons and uh, they have ballistic missiles capable of reaching our closest ally, which is England. And Mr. President, we regret to tell you that uh, we fear an attack is imminent on England. Now, Mr. President, we are not here to advise you. No, 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 no. That's not, uh, that's not yeah. our job. Only here to inform you. No, they're here to fucking control you. Right. What, what options did the president have? None. Now, we all knew, everybody knew they had no nuclear weapons. Europe knew, certainly all of the Middle East knew. The only people who didn't know were the president and Congress who were briefed by the CIA. Six hours later, the bombing started and we bombed Iraq into the Stone Ages. That's how the CIA operates, either through truth or, so, I mean, through lies or selective truth. Now, I think, sorry, Dwight, Dwight and let me finish this it's very important. Please, Dwight please, Eisenhower yeah. in 1960, when he left, left office, the last president with any power in America, and also the last president with any goddamn common sense except for um, JFK, that warned us. He said, if you do not do something, the CIA and the military industrial complex will steal America and all of your freedoms. But we did nothing, and they did. Now, the next president after Dwight Eisenhower, uh, JFK, he was a smart motherfucker. And he goes, wait a minute, you motherfuckers are controlling me. So he announced, I'm disbanding the CIA and I'm taking all of those departments. We're going to parcel them out with the other 14 covert agencies like uh, the NSA, Secret Service, uh, uh, for the military uh, the covert agencies and so on. Unfortunately, uh, uh, two weeks later, uh, he had an accident, got shot in the head. Right. Uh, right. Now, tell me that the CIA does not run America. Now, you want to call that the deep state? I don't care what you call it. The Illuminati? They probably are very illuminated. They are the, smart, <laughs> they are the smartest people on this planet, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, because they are the best trained, the most educated, and the most uh, involved 
in what they think is best for this country. Problem is, what they think is best for the country, right. according to the Constitution, shouldn't make a fret as of difference. Right.